DVD audio is a digital format for delivering high-fidelity audio content on a DVD. DVD audio uses most of the storage on the disc for high-quality audio and is not intended to be a video delivery format. DVD audio has much higher audio quality than video DVDs containing concert films or music videos. The first discs entered the marketplace in 2000. DVD audio was in a format war with Super Audio CD, and along with consumers' tastes tending towards downloadable music, these factors meant that neither high-quality disc achieved considerable market penetration. DVD audio has been described as extinct by 2007. Audio specifications, DVD audio offers many possible configurations of audio channels, ranging from single-channel mono to 5.1-channel surround sound, at various sampling frequencies and sample rates. For bass and or special audio effects. Compared to the compact disc, the much higher capacity DVD format enables the inclusion of either, considerably more music or, encoding at higher linear sampling rates and more bits per sample, and or, additional channels for spatial sound reproduction. Audio on a DVD audio disc can be stored in many different bit depth sampling rate channel combinations, different bit depth sampling rate channel combinations can be used on a single disc. For instance, a DVD audio disc may contain a 96 a kilohertz slash 24 bit 5.1 channel audio track as well as a 192 a kilohertz slash 24 bit stereo audio track. Also, the channels of a track can be split into two groups stored at different resolutions. For example, the front speakers could be 96-24, while the surrounds are 48-20. Audio is stored on the disc in linear PCM format, which is either uncompressed or losslessly compressed with MLP. The maximum permissible total bit rate is 9.6 megabits per second. Channel resolution combinations that would exceed this need to be compressed. In uncompressed modes, it is possible to get up to 96 16 or 48 24 in 5.1, and 192 24 in stereo. To store 5.1 tracks in February 2088, 88.2 24, 96 20 or 96 24 MLP encoding is mandatory. If no native stereo audio exists on the disc, the DVD audio player may be able to downmix the 5.1 channel audio to 2 channel stereo audio if the listener does not have a surround sound setup. Downmixing can only be done to 2 channel stereo, not to other configurations, such as 4.0 quad. DVD audio may also feature menus, text subtitles, still images, and video. Plus in high-end authoring systems it is also possible to link directly into a video TS directory that might contain video tracks, as well as PCM stereo and other bonus features. Player compatibility, with the introduction of the DVD audio format, some kind of backward compatibility with existing DVD video players was desired, although not required. To address this, most DVD audio discs also contain DVD video compatible data that allows the standard DVD video Dolby Digital 5.1 channel audio track on the disc. Many DVD video players also offer the option to create a Dolby MP matrix encoded soundtrack for older surround sound systems lacking Dolby Digital or DTS decoding. Some discs also include a native Dolby Digital 2.0 stereo and even a DTSA 96-245.1 channel, audio track. Since the DVD audio format is a member of the DVD family, a single disc can have multiple layers, and even two sides that contain audio and video material. A common configuration is a single-sided DVD with content in both the DVD video and DVD audio directories. The high resolution, Packed PCM audio encoded using MLP is only playable by DVD players containing DVD audio decoding capability. DVD video content, which can include LPCM, Dolby or DTS material, and even video, makes the disc compatible with all DVD players. Other disc configurations may consist of double-layer DVDs or two-sided discs. Some labels have released two-sided DVD titles that contain DVD audio content on one side and DVD video content on the other, 
the classic records HDAD being one such example. Unofficial playback of DVD audio on a PC is possible through Freeware Audio Player for BAR 2000 for Windows using an open source plugin extension called VDA Decoder. VLC Media Player has DVD audio support Cyberlink's Power DVD version 8 provides an official method of playing DVD audio discs. This feature was dropped from version 9 onwards. Creative also provide a dedicated DVD audio player with some of its Sound Blaster Audigy and XV cards. Preamplifier surround processor interface, in order to play DVD audio, a preamplifier or surround controller with 6 E analog inputs was originally required. Whereas DVD video audio formats such as Dolby Digital and ETS can be sent via the player's digital output to a receiver for conversion to analog form and distribution to speakers, DVD audio is not allowed to be delivered via unencrypted digital audio link at sample rates higher than 48 kHz due to concerns about digital copying. However encrypted digital formats have now been approved by the DVD forum, the first of which was Meridian Audio's MHR. The high-definition multimedia interface also allows encrypted digital audio to be carried up to DVD audio specification. The six channels of audio information can thus be sent to the amplifier by several different methods. The six audio channels can be decrypted and extracted in the player and sent to the amplifier along six standard analog cables. The six audio channels can be decrypted and then re-encrypted into an HDMI or IEEE 1394 signal and sent to the amplifier, which will then decrypt the digital signal and then extract the six channels of audio. HDMI and IEEE 1394 encryption are different from the DVDA encryption and were designed as a general standard for a high-quality digital interface. The amplifier has to be equipped with a valid decryption key or it won't play the disc. The third option is via the SPDIF digital interface. However, because of concerns over unauthorized copying, DVDA players are required to handle this digital interface in one of the following ways turns such an interface off completely. This option is preferred by the music publishers. Down convert the audio to a two-channel 16-bit slash 48 kHz PCM signal. The music publishers are not enthusiastic about this because it permits the production of a CD quality copy, something they still expect to sell, besides DVDA. Down convert the audio to two channels, but keeping the original sample size and bit rate of the producer sets a flag on the DVDA disc telling the player to do so. A final option is to modify the player, capturing the high resolution digital signals before they are fed to internal DA converters and convert it to SPDIF, giving full range digital sound. There exist already do it yourself solutions for some players. There also exists an option to equip a DVDA player with multiple SPDIF outputs, for full resolution multi channel digital output. Sound quality Researchers in 2004 found no detectable difference in audio quality between DVDA and SACD. Format variants Three of the major music labels, Universal Music, Emmy, and Warner Brothers. Records and several smaller audiophile labels have released or are continuing to release albums on DVD audio, but the number is minimal compared to standard CDs. New high-definition titles have been released in standard DVD video format, HDAD, which includes a DVD video format recording on one side and DVD audio on the other, CD-DVD packages, which can include the album on both CD and DVD audio, or dual disc which can contain DVD audio content on the DVD side. In addition, some titles that had been initially released as a standalone DVD audio disc were re-released as a CD DVD package or as a dual disc. Copy protection, DVD audio discs may optionally employ a copy protection mechanism called content protection for pre-recorded media. CPPM, managed by the 4C entity was designed to prevent users from extracting audio to computers and portable media players. Because DVD video's content scrambling system was quickly broken, DVD audio's developers sought a better method of blocking unauthorized duplications. They developed CPPM, which uses a media key block to authenticate DVD audio players. In order to decrypt the audio, 
players must obtain a media key from the MKB, which also is encrypted. The player must use its own unique key to decrypt the MKB. If a DVD audio player's decryption key is compromised, that key can be rendered useless for decrypting future DVD audio discs. DVD audio discs can also utilize digital watermarking technology developed by the Verence Corporation, typically embedded into the audio once every 30 seconds. If a DVD audio player encounters a watermark on a disc without a valid MKB, it will halt playback. The 4C entity also developed a similar specification, content protection for recordable media, which is used on secure digital cards. DVD Audio's copy protection was overcome in 2005 by tools which allow data to be decrypted or converted to six-channel WAV files without going through lossy digital to analog conversion. Previously that conversion had required expensive equipment to retain all six channels of audio rather than having it down mixed to stereo. In the digital method, the decryption is done by a commercial software player which has been patched to allow access to the unprotected audio. In 2007 the encryption scheme was overcome with a tool called DVD-CPXM. In February 12, 2008 a program called DVD Audio Explorer was released, containing aforementioned LIB DVD-CPXM coupled with an open-source MLP decoder. Like DVD video decryption, such tools may be illegal to use in the United States under the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. While the Recording Industry Association of America has been successful in keeping these tools off websites, they are still distributed on P2P file sharing networks and news groups. Additionally, in 2007 the widely used commercial software DVD FAB Platinum added DVD audio decryption, allowing users to back up a full DVD image to an ISO image file. Authoring software, OS X. Sonic Solutions DVD Creator April Euro the first DVD audio authoring solution available. A spin-off of the popular high-end DVD video authoring package. It allows DVD audio authoring at the command line level only. No longer sold or supported by Sonic Solutions. Sonic Studio Sonic Studio HDA a Euro Macintosh based tool used for high density audio mastering and to prepare audio for DVDA authoring in one click DVD. Sonic Studio Sonic one click DVDA a Euro converts prepared Sonic Studio EDLs into binary MLP files to be used in the authoring tool. Also generates script file information to be added to DVD Creator Avenue projects. DVD audio tools Console application DVDA author, see below. Apple Logic Pro 8, when bouncing, choose CDDA under destination, and then choose DVDA from the pop up menu. Minitonka Disc Welder Bronze is now available for Macintosh. Very simple to use if one just to burn their own files to listen to in this format. Burn, general purpose CD and DVD burning utility that can write audio TS data. Select Audio tab then DVD Audio from the drop-down menu. Windows, Minitonka Disc Welder, Slinker DVD Audio Solo, DVD Audio Extractor, Steinberg Wave Lab, Gear Pro Mastering Edition, DVD Audio Tools Package. Samplitude, Linux, a project called DVD Audio Tools provides free open-source DVD audio authoring tools for Linux and other Nix platforms. Windows binaries are also available. DVD audio video discs are also supported. References External links DVD audio vs. SACD, Perceptual Discrimination of Digital Audio Coding Formats Audio Engineering Society Convention Paper 6086 Robert Normando Interview Interview with Robert Normando on Outside Radio Hours about using the format for the release of puzzles.